Hey everyone, welcome back. While looking for ways to add a vertical line to the Mac dock, I found a Reddit post with a simple solution. It shared terminal commands to add an extra vertical bar to the dock. I believe the spacer would be only apply if you have recently closed apps, which typically by default separates your apps with the vertical bar. On this command, that would be 10 as indicated here. And as we scroll down, he's telling something about the show recent key to your doc p list file, or else it would not work even if you entered in the commands. Even if the recent apps option is already enabled in system preferences. This solution adds just one extra bar and isn't perfect, but it should help some of you out. I followed the replies just below the post and see if this solution did work out. The thing that holds me back is that what if the commands messes up my doc? And I saw this reply from MTT, which was two months ago, while the original post was already four years already. Since I'm using Mac OS Tahoe on this one, I might as well try this one out since it doesn't require any terminal commands. I carefully read this reply out, and what he did was a screenshot of the vertical bar and made a PNG file out of it, then added into a folders icon. So allow me to do a screenshot of this vertical bar out. I'll just make a rough guess here. Maybe I will start from between the app icon and drag it all in right about here. Let's head over to photop.com, my favorite free online photo editor, which is similar to Photoshop. You don't need to do all this. I will link the image file on the description box of this video. Allow me to open up the screenshot that I made a while ago and locate it for my documents. From what I understand, we need to make a transparent vertical bar. So we will do just that here in a sec. Wait for a bit while it loads and do its thing. I need to zoom in for a better view of this file since it's quite small on this canvas. So let's see, I can use this marquee tool just to select the vertical line, but hold up, I think the magic wand can do it faster. I just click the white background to select M entirely. Then we can delete it so that we can have it with a transparent background. Perfect, now let's export this as PNG file so that we can retain the transparency of this image. The file name could be anything and hit the save button and it will proceed to download. If you're using Safari, click allow to download the actual file. You can now close photo P. Now moving on with the comment, we will create a new folder. So I will open the finder app and head over to documents and create a new folder. I think we don't need a specific name for this one. So going back to the guide, we will add the image that we made into the new folders icon. You can simply do that by right clicking on the folder then selecting Get Info. We'll make sure that the folder properties is not locked. Then let's go into the Downloads folder and drag the PNG file into the Untitled Folders icon that is located above the Get Info window. Locate the name and extension text box. I will rename this folder as L.app so that when you mouse over into this app whenever it's on the dock, it would be the letter L. I will click Add on this case. Our folder will be now an app with the spacer icon. You can now close the Get Info window. All we have to do is drag this app into the Applications folder. Let's go into the Applications folder and locate our app. Make sure to click the file name so that you can select it. Now all you have to do is drag it into the dock or wherever you want the vertical bar to segregate your preferred set of apps. And boom, you have now your custom vertical bar without touching any terminal commands. If ever you drag again the same app on the dock to have the second one, it would not work, it's the same as your first vertical bar. Now the simple solution is this, we will duplicate the app with different file name so that we can reposition it into the dock as our second vertical bar. You can right click the app and hit duplicate. I will rename the app as the vertical line and simply drag it again on the dock so that it will serve as our second vertical line spacer. If you need more of it, just do the same process by duplicating the app and rename it and drag it once more on the dock. And here we are, boy, that was hefty, but at least we learned something new today. If you want to get rid of the spacer, simply drag it going up until you see the remove text. Alrighty then, if you want to have an empty spacer instead of this vertical line, I got you covered. Click the video on your screen. Thank you for watching and see you there.